The sun is the major component of the solar system. It gives us energy in the form of light and heat. So the solar system formed in 4.6 billion years ago. The vast majority of the system mass, uh, which actually is 99.98% is in the sun. All planets are revolving around the sun and have almost circular path. Now the solar system comprises the sun and its eight planets that form the planetary system which is orbiting around the sun. Sun as a star with highest mass in the hottest and brightest with surface temperature of up to 4000 degrees Celsius to 8000 degrees Celsius. The core temperature of the sun is round about 15000 degrees Celsius. The solar system consists of the sun and all the objects that orbit it as planets, moons, asteroids and comets. The whole system is thought to have formed 4.6 billion years ago from a spinning cloud of gases and dust. First are the four rocky inner planets which are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Separated from asteroid belts then are four outer gas giants planets which are Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn and Neptune. Beyond Neptune's orbit is a vast region scattered with small icy words of dormant comets. In total, the solar system is about 15,000 billion kilometer or 1.6 light year across. The inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are composed of rock as silicate, iron or nickel that remained solid in all conditions. These four inner planets have dense and rocky composition. So you can see with the help of the picture that among inner planets, Earth is the largest one. So it has colors while other planets are smaller than the Earth. This is Mars. This is Venus and this is Mercury. So Venus among these four planets are hottest one. The four inner planets have several features in common. They are relatively small, have a structure consisting of a rocky crust, a mantle and an iron rich core and they possess few or no satellites. In other way, they are quite different. Earth is the only planet with an oxygen-rich atmosphere, abundant surface water and a range of temperature that ensure most of the water in liquid. These factors have all contributed to the development of life. Mercury has virtually no atmosphere and experiences extreme of temperature. Venus has a thick carbon dioxide rich atmosphere that produces extremely high temperature and pressure at its surface. Mars is cold with a thin atmosphere and water that exists as ice at its poles and beneath the surface. So these are the outer planets which are Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune and Uranus are composed mainly of gases as hydrogen and helium. This one is Jupiter, then Saturn, then you have Neptune and Uranus. The four outer planets called gas giants are different from the inner planets but have many features in common with each other. They all have small rocky cores and are composed mostly of liquid, hydrogen and helium. The atmosphere of the Uranus and Neptune contains 2 to 3 percent methane as well, which gives them a blue appearance. They have a ring system made of dust and ice. The Sun is a hot ball of gases, mostly hydrogen, with significant amount of the helium that generates enormous amount of energy through nuclear fusion reactions in its core. So the sun is the major component and the star of the solar system. It has largest mass or you can say about 3,32,900 earth 
and produces electromagnetic radiations. So here you can see the size of the sun as compared to the other planets. This is sun and these are the other planets which are actually circling around the sun or these nine are the part of the solar system. The solar system also contains billions of small objects, remnants of its early history. Asteroids are from a few hundred meters to several hundred kilometers across, whereas comets are icy frozen gases and rock particles.